down there in the mid 50s and uh, looking to bump that one up in run number two. We move on to our first of our X Games rookies. This is Francis Anthony Jean Jean. Began riding at just age 10. Wow, beautiful flip double whip. Flair Barsman, Anthony John John, he's been he's been bringing so much power to all the courses he's been riding. I mean, he rose so good at the feast courses this year. Look at that nice Superman up. Is it the, like I said, the box jump is going to be. I think it could make or break the runs for a lot of these guys because it's it's not the biggest box jump. So it's who's going to bring their biggest trick. That's the big question here. Like I know that Anthony John John is capable of doing like double backflips, huge ones. So like, is he going to bring that in the run? We do not know. There we go. Cork 720. You can see it was very similar to the 360 flip, but it was just a little bit off axis. Oh, beautiful flare downside tail whip. Pat Casey, he happens to own three medals in this event. He owns two silver and one bronze. He's in for his first of two attempts. Pat starting things off with a 360 double tail whip. Pat's such an original rider. He, his riding style, is, it's literally, it's just Pat Casey that rides this way. I mean, riding the free coaster, he can do the tech fakey stuff. He can go huge. He can, he, he's, he can literally do everything. And he's so fun to watch. Every BMX rider gets so excited when Pat's on the course. And so far, he's looking really good. He's got a nice flow through this, uh, through this section right here. Look at that, fakey up there. See, everybody's been stopping up there, but Pat actually makes a cool, stylish, like, trick out of it. Just a unique approach to the course, that all-around talented rider in park as well as dirt. Wow. Yep. So just taking a unique approach to it here in run one. As a rookie in 2022, earning silver both here in Chiba as well as X Games Vista this past July. Oh, uh, I love that trick. The Twix, the Barton and the tail up simultaneous. He's so good at it. And like, I mean, he's the only one that is able to do them consistently. Like, that's a ridiculous trick. And he's another goofy-footed rider, but he uses it to his advantage with the style of tricks that he picks. You can see he's got fast hands as well. He might give Rim a run for his money. He's got the triple truck over the box backwards. Look at that, back foot barsman, barsman. So many tricks he, he puts into uh, his combinations, it's crazy. And he's so good at doing the 540s on the big quarter pipes, which uh, you don't really don't see a ton of in BMX. There we go, 540 no-hander. I mean, right there, it puts that one down under the coping right at the buzzer. Taking a look at Kevin Peraza, originally from Tucson, Arizona. He, too, one of the former gold medalists in this event, he owns two gold and one bronze in the Whoa. X Games. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> that was the trick so far right there. That tip of transfer was insane. See the oh. look on his face when he did that. Oh, it's, just, it's, a, it's the same as it always is. Just a big old smile, just having the best time ever. But man, that was crazy. This run so far is so good. It's just it's just original. It's Kevin Peraza. It's he's always looking at, he's always looking outside the box. And that's why BMX loves him so much. Oh, nice flare whip. See, he does the, the stylish moves, but he can also do the technical big moves like that too. Oh, truck driver in. Yeah, that was a really, really fun first run. Man, I, I, we need a replay. I was going to say, I want to see the replay. replay. I need to slow-mo with that first one. <laughs> Into tomorrow's event. Right now, we welcome back in Kevin Peraza. Oh, he did a double two at that time. <laughs> Oh, man, but he had to go bigger for that double whip, and he had to pay the cost landing and looping out right there. Oh. So here comes Kieran Riley for his second and final attempt. Nice. 720 tail up. I just love how he just tightens up that spin after the tail up. Look at the height on that. And I think the judges, from what I'm seeing, it seems like they're rewarding the speed and the height. They want to see the amplitude. And Kieran's definitely bringing it. Oh, nice. Tail up to late tabletop. That was so stylish. It was. Get that late table in there. Yeah, I'm a fan. Yep, and once again, putting another one in there. And the judges are going to love that too. So he's got 14 seconds left. He's got to end with something good. And, ooh, nice tuck handed 360 over the box backwards. This'll be it. Oh, 
three bar spins right there. That's so hard to do at the end of your run. Oh, that's BMX right there, especially when you have a field this stacked. But here comes Mike Virgo sitting in that number 13 spot. He was in, but has found himself on the outside looking in as well. We'll see him in BMX Park best trick later on in the weekend as well. Oh, I'm so excited to see what he's going to bring for best trick. Oh, three double down whip. Oh, that's so hard. Man, because I, I called it a 360 double down whip, but it's really like a 270, and he did a 360 double down whip when he should have under rotated a little bit, but it's so hard to do, especially when you're doing a trick like that with spins, uh, spinning the bike around. What? Look at that! How the bar the spin 900. <laughs> he got the last little bit of treatment wow. on that one. Look at the smile on his face. Wow. <laughs> and you can hear all the BMX riders in the background. I think I think that was Ryan Williams right there. <laughs> so we take one more look at Rim Nakamura sitting in that number seven position. So he's earned his ticket into the final. Yeah, and I think these riders are going to take kind of a page out of Sandoval's book and kind of up the ante while they can because, like I said, you, you get the course to yourself and you also get that, there, look at that three down. Wow, he was on the yeah, edge I there. Was say, I, that, that edge makes me nervous. <laughs> I think that border kept him on. I really <laughs> think it was, that skateboarder just kept the BMX on. But yeah, there's a little bit of a drop up there on the other side, too. Wow. Look at that big air in that he whole is corner. Boosting right now. Yeah, and he's known for that. I mean, everybody, when Rim touches a course, you, you, you know to look up. You know you're about to see some crazy stuff, and it's going to be high up there. Wow, what a, this is a really good run. Definitely a uh, upgrade from uh, run number one. The duration is not overdoing to the point where you crash. And look at he did this perfectly. Beautiful downside triple tail up. So that's his actually normal direction that he would rotate in the air. And uh, he kicks his tail ups that way. Nice uh, 360 flip over the box. And then look at that flare bar spin to look back. And uh, since he's a goofy footed rider, he's able to do the look back combinations. And uh, goofy foot means um, pretty much he turns to the direction of his front foot. So there's the back flip tail up over the box as well. And I think this box is going to play a big role in uh, definitely deciding between the top guys today. Did it hold oh, up? Man. Marcus Christopher in for run number two, currently sitting in that number two position and going huge right out of the gate, Scotty. Yeah, I love that start, just pedaling all the way across. Oh, sending it to the top. I've been waiting for somebody to do that one. He was your top qualifier until Daniel Sandoval said, uh-uh, I'm posting up at 87, so. And like I said earlier, he, he had two bobbles in his first run, so he, he has room for improvement. And he, he got an 86 in run number one. So far, he's actually changed up his line a little bit. I like that transfer into that steep wedge. That brings a good amount of speed for that quarter pipe. That's what Daniel did for the double flare. He's gonna do it. Oh, last triple whip! Seconds. That was that was a switch a triple whip right there. So opposite direction. Oh, I love that. I love that under flip whip over the box backwards, and he just did a bar spin version of it over it forwards. Wow. So there's there a, there's a lot of tricks there. There was a lot of tricks there. I'm really curious to see what the judges do with this one. Sandoval currently sits in that number three spot with an 80.66. So, oh, the double oh! flare! <laughs> <laughs> now, somebody's not holding back. I Maybe know. somebody's getting some extra practice since he already knows he's going into the final. I saw him hitting that wall and I stopped. Wow. I didn't want to finish my thought. I was like, what's he going to do? Oh, my goodness. And that's a big quarter pipe to do it off of. I mean, you know, you think back Kevin Robinson doing them, you know, on the vert ramp, and then like modern day BMX, there's guys doing it on the smaller quarter, but to do it on that big quarter pipe, a concrete as well. Look at that 540 flare. Wow. What a run right here. This has got some bangers. So many big tricks. Kind of using this as a uh, dry run, a little glimpse into what we could see in the final. Wow. And he is fired up at the end of that run. Nicely done. Two very solid outings on a Daniel Sandoval. Oh, I'm still recovering from that double flare. That thing was huge. <laughs> we need to replay that one.